This question is from Mihaela, who has three questions on using BigQuery with Data Studio uh, regarding pricing, upload size, uh, date formats, these kind of nitty gritty issues. So let's dive into them one by one. The first question is, uh, if I pull the data from BigQuery, will Google charge me or not for sending data to Data Studio? Uh, so pricing with BigQuery and Data Studio um, is standard BigQuery pricing. So I'll link to that in the description. But basically, they charge you per query. And every time your uh, Data Studio dashboard refreshes, it will ping BigQuery, query, run all the queries that correspond to the data in your charts. So if you have 20 different charts and date comparisons, across those, you'll have 40 queries basically that run because a date comparison is a separate query. Um, each of those are minimum like 10 megabytes or something like that. So it might, might cost you a couple pennies or something to refresh your uh, your data studio dashboard every time. I, I might not, not even be that high. It's something something really small. But yeah, so look up your the big query query level pricing is, is your issue there. Uh, you can look at your big query uh, query history when you refresh your data studio dashboard and it'll show you how many queries were run and what you're charged for each of them. So you can kind of map out uh, what your dashboard is going to cost you to run day to day. Um, Second question is, uh, is there any limit in megabytes when uploading a CSV into BigQuery? And yes, there is. It's uh, 10 megabytes or 16,000 rows, and that's in the BigQuery docs that I'll link to you uh, in the description. If you use the BigQuery uh, Sheets connector that's in the Coding is for Losers template vault on Trello, uh, I think the limit is like 128 megabytes. So you can upload a CSV. Uh, into Drive and then push it to BigQuery using our connector, uh, and you can do about 12 times, 13 times the size if you, versus a manual upload. Um, the last question is, uh, basically, when uploading CSV in BigQuery, data fields have a specific format when connecting that table to Data Studio, the field is not recognized as a date. So Data Studio, date formats are like a classic, uh, you know, nagging issue for a lot of people because they expect uh, year, 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 month, month, date, date, uh, hyphenated or not, uh, standard format. So the way if your dates are in a different format, um, and you want them in data studio format, you can either create a view in BigQuery, um, which, you know, from the from the BigQuery UI or from our connector, uh, tool that will reformat your dates into Data Studio format. So you can either just make a view. Uh, you'll you'll get charged a little bit more when you run it because it charges you for the view and the underlying table. Um, but you'll you can check that out. Um, the other thing that we use a lot internally at Coding is for Losers is we use a tool called DBT, which is getdbt.com, to do all of our data modeling. So to transform our data into from raw data into like our actual KPI tables with dates formatted in the way that we need them, uh, you basically write SQL models in um, DBT. They have another tool called Sinter, which is Sinterdata, I believe, dot com. Uh, which runs your models on any kind of schedule that you specify so that your raw data in BigQuery is transformed into tables, static tables rather than views that you can use in any dashboard tool. So if you want to do more than like basic modeling, if you want to do join data sets together, do KPIs, use window functions to calculate running total, stuff like that, I'd highly recommend using a tool like DBT um, rather than just making views, because that'll get very expensive uh, quickly if you have a lot of data. Um, so hope that helps with those questions. Again, um, to sum it up, BigQuery, uh, Data Studio BigQuery pricing is just BigQuery pricing. There's no special charge for Data Studio. Uh, your upload limit is 10 megabytes for CSVs into BigQuery. It can be 128 if you use a tool like our connector. Um, and for dates, definitely use DBT. Uh, if you're comfortable writing SQL models. So take care. Hope that helps you on your uh, kind of BigQuery data studio journey here.